Right, you're right guys and girls, welcome back to my YouTube channel on the Anthony Kenneth Bishop channel. So, uh, I don't know if you've guessed uh, what I actually bought. I uh, did um, sort of the review the other day on it, just to look at it, sort of an unboxing, even though I unboxed it already. Uh, just to show you what guys and girls that I'm doing at the moment. And on this one, I just want to let you guys and girls know that this is an actual Orion. So you want to go for the proper products, really good brands. And I actually heard that Orion's actually a good make, good name apparently. So this is the, uh, what's it called? The Star, I think it's called the Star um, Max. Yeah, Star Max, 90 millimeters. And the, uh, this from here to here or roughly to here to the actual scope bit all the way to there you get a 10 millimeter with it and you get a 25 millimeter um 25 millimeter diameter sort of uh, lens which you can put into here already so you i've got this one here the cyrus um and this one's an actual official product it's a a plossy um i will be uploading some of my uh like sort of findings once i got used to it um trying to focus it on some of the main stars but when you're turning it is very difficult uh, especially when you're trying to sort of scope it in but at 1250 millimeters for the length of distance that you can go with this because the it's fixed at 1250 but you can t uh, well put a barlow lens on it um and actually have it up to either two times you can have a one times on it i think you can get a one times barlow lens you get a five times one which is five times uh 1250 which to be honest is crazy but you're seeing really deeper into space but then uh also the amount of light you would need to come through this scope is going to be crazy enough i mean obviously some of the the, the galaxies and stuff it's going to be dark and all of that and you need a lot of light to go in there so basically you're just getting a, you have to get through the um the aperture a lot of the light so all the light's going to soak up in there but the bigger you get for the barlow lens i would say it's going to get darker so it'd be like a 14 f14 or something uh f uh 15.6 or 22 or something it's going to be some weird, crazy, dark sort of uh, aperture on it for the focal thing. So the focus ain't going to be really that guard, um, like hard. Um, it's going to be hard, but it's not going to be easy as well. So um, as you can see, it comes with an EZ Finder 2, which is the sort of scope so you can actually um, get the actual scope on it and actually find out whereabouts you want where the stars are and then you have to align up so i've got to try and actually align this up so i'm not too sure how you actually do it obviously there's a button right there there's some buttons around here as well the top there's two around the top here i've got to try and find out how you actually got to line this up um i've got this band this bit here band straight in the middle so this bit here is in the middle so i don't know this bit here if it goes up or down um, or if this scope bit's got to go up and down, but I've got to try and line it up with this here. So I've got to try and find out how you do that. Um, but I've just found out, because this is a tabletop sort of telescope, um, this is the main base one here. So basically it's easy to turn, very easy to turn, as you can see there. It's not really that much, but it's easy, easy enough to turn the scope around and around and around and around here and around there but i've just also noticed right there's actually a little bit of a thing underneath here as well um a hook so i've actually linked that up to my tripod so the tripod can actually be easy of accessing it so you can access this pretty damn easy um but i would say Put this on a sturdy tripod, a really tough one, which can take its weight. I'm not too sure what the weight is, but also, also don't point this 
at the um the actual sun because it says here do not look at the sun through this telescope sunlight may cause serious eye injury uh to children and actually it's up to 1250 millimeters in focal length and refl it's a, a reflecting telescope so it reflects and all that so uh you got the ones um from orion telescopes uh dot com that's where you can get these from and this is a a casa greener reflecting telescope anyway guys and girls cheers for watching stay safe it is the second of uh april already april the second 2019 at the time of this video cheers for watching guys and girls stay safe and i'll see you soon